FDB Film Study is sponsored by Happy Valley United. To learn more about how you can support Penn State student athletes NIL opportunities, visit happyvalleyunited.com today. What's up, guys? Welcome back to For Another For The Bloggy. Today, we're going to talk about Nick Singleton. We're going to talk about his growth. We're going to talk about how he's become a better running back from game one to the last game of the season. Let's talk about patience. Let's talk about how to read inside zone so some of us know how to do it. And let's talk about how he has just developed that patience and that theory of slow to the hole, fast through the hole. Man, looking forward to it. You know the drill. Before you do it, hey, like, subscribe, comment. We love questions. Let's do this. All right, let's talk about Nick Singleton. Let's talk about how he's grown as a runner over the past year. This is a very simple inside zone concept, okay? And so what you're going to see is you're going to see the tailback is going to come across quarterback's face, and he's going to put his foot in the ground, and he's going to look for a hole. But what I want you to watch is how he used his athleticism to truly make a play here uh, when necessarily this wasn't exactly a great read. He was just more athletic than everybody on the football field. So we're going to watch it from the end zone so you can get a good feel for this. So look at number one right here. And so here's what it looks at. This is going to be an inside zone concept. And so for most people, when they talk about inside zone, mid zone, there's a simple read that's happening right here. The simple read right here, he should be looking at the, the A-gap defender. He should be looking right here. So his eye should take him. As soon as he shuffle crosses over, he's going to look right at that defender. So as you can see, when, when we snap the ball here, Notice how the defender, he presses himself to the opposite A-gap. So right now, Singleton's eye should have seen this, and he knows that this should be a bounce read for him. He should be looking to get across and looking to bounce out because that is the flow of the offensive line and what's happening here. So if you take a look, if he's smart, what he's going to do is he's going to press this thing and he's going to bounce this ball. That's the proper way to be taught how to do this and how to run this play. Now, what he sees, and you can see he's kind of creeping right now, is he watches the backside get washed down, and he just puts his foot in the ground and tries to outrun everybody, which he does. And, and But again, it's one of those things, you can't do this all games, and you can't get away with these things when you play much higher opponents. This was early in the year. So let's come back and let's watch a little later in the season. I want you to see and I want you to understand the patience that he creates here. Uh, it's almost the exact same concept, uh, and really it's the exact same thing. So we're going to go back. I'm going to show you the end zone copy because this is where we want to look at it. Okay, same idea. The only difference in this formation is 84, instead of being off of the line, he's attached to the line of scrimmage here. All right, so he's reading the A-gap defender. He's looking here, okay? So now what you're going to see is you're going to see the same exact fluid motion. Notice the A-gap defender. See what happens? All right, so now you see the A-gap defender. He's getting washed, but he gets cut off right here. So his eyes are now going to snap to this point here. Notice how last game we saw in the last play, he pushed himself back behind the line of scrimmage, but see how this football team is playing this thing like they're supposed to. They call that a gap exchange. Gap exchange meaning the defensive end is going to take inside, the linebacker is going to rock her over the top so that the quarterback can't pull the ball. So what Singleton sees here is, look at the patience. It's the same thing up front right here. Front side defensive end loops. He gets himself, he sees it. Watch how he bounces the read right here. Because if he would have gone back like he did the last game, all right, the last game we looked at, he's going to go ahead and get caught by that gap exchange linebacker. So now he gets himself on the edge, and he allows himself the opportunity to be successful. And we talk about that being a patient run. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the Michigan game. And this is really interesting because this is the same idea. Okay, same inside zone, same read, same everything. The only difference on this one is the backside defensive end is not being blocked. He's being read by the quarterback. So the eyes of the quarterback are going to be on him. If this guy squeezes down really hard, we're going to hit the arrow to number 44. But as you can see what happens, all right, he sees the feather. He sees the numbers of the defensive lineman. He hands the ball off. All right, so let's talk about this. So in this situation, there's really truly no A-gap defender except for this guy late right here, and I want to show it to you. So he's going to read this guy. Okay, watch the shuffle, cross over, shoulders are downhill. His read got pushed by. So example, if this read were to get hooked, he would put his foot in the ground right here and he'd go. But because his read got pushed, he puts his foot on the ground on his third step and he gets right behind his read because the offensive line made him make a decision. This is patient running. Watch the shuffle, watch the crossover. This is a really good pickup by the Penn State offensive line. 
and watch what happens. He puts his foot in the ground and he sees that nice little hole right here. And basically what I've told you, if it was week one again, in this situation, he probably would have tried to bounce this back here, back into the defensive help. This is a great run for Singleton and it really shows growth as he progresses on. Now, we're looking at this. This is an interesting one here. This is formation to the boundary against Minnesota. All you're gonna see is you're gonna see the motions Nothing has changed, and this is so important for you to understand that we're watching the same play right now. Let's watch from the end zone. He is going to watch the A-gap defender. That's number 93 right here. You're going to see a shuffle crossover. Notice that this guy doesn't necessarily get washed by. He gets what we like to call the hook. Okay, So he puts his foot on the ground on his third step. He sees the hook. He sees that the A-gap defender has not, been, has not been washed by. His eyes stay on the path. He puts himself right on his path, and there's no reason for him to have to leave the path. If he would have done what he had done previously in this situation, 55 would have made this play because the left tackle didn't get outside the end fast enough. Okay, all right, so take a look at this. This is really an interesting play, I thought. Okay, so again, we're watching the exact same concept, exact same concept, except the only thing that's happening here that's a little different, okay, is that the backside tackle is taking the defensive end to the backside. All right, so this basically tells me that, for the most part, this is the read right here. If this guy flies out or just sits, they're going to hand the ball off. It's really, I think it was just a blown play up front. But what we're here to do is we're here to watch the end zone copy. Okay, so it's very simple here. He's going to read the gap defender, which is the nose guard. Okay, so here we go. We get pressed. Notice how the nose guard gets hooked by 70. We call this a hook. He does not get over the top of 70 here, and he doesn't get washed. So the running back is just going to stay on his path. There's absolutely no reason for him to leave. Now, if this defensive tackle, the nose guard, went across formation right here, that means that 35 would get hit here, 64 would walk. He would put his foot in the ground and get behind it. But because he got hooked by the center and 64 still sitting, that means that guy's here. Easy, simple read, slow patience. Look at the slow patience of the footwork in the backfield. Shuffle, cross over, slow to the hole, fast through the hole. Okay, so here we go. This is a good one right here because I want to show you what they're trying to achieve. Number one, this is the old school guard H counter. And I'm really impressed with his ability to be patient here. Okay, this is Penn State's guard fullback counter play, uh, and we're going to talk about how it works. So first things first, we're going to go back. So he's going to kick back. These two are going to work to the next die back. Okay, 64 is going to go kick the outside backer. Okay, 74 is going to what they call zone flow wheel for anything coming off the edge. 84 is going to wrap around for anything there. Okay, so here we go. All right, you see the down, down, down blocks. Okay, so we see the down. He's zone float wheels looking for anything on the edge. 70, the center goes back to the backside D end. You're getting a nice double team by the right tackle, right guard here. All right, and you're going to get movement here. Now, quarterback is just going to shuffle, shuffle, and he's going to get downhill, and his read is very crucial. His read, first things first, is this. His second read is this. So watch how he slows down and lets this develop. I am super impressed because this play got blown up, and honestly, he could have bounced this, and earlier in the year, he would have taken this ball, and he would have bounced this because of what he saw. But he had patience to wait for his H-back to get there, and you see the down blocks, and you see the kickouts, and he gets right up the field right there. Again, that's an interesting concept because, again, it's not zone, but it shows his slow patience to the hole and then fast through the hole. Okay, here we go. I really like this play. Let's go straight to the end zone, okay? So let's talk about what we're trying to achieve right here. If you take a look at the play, this is what we like to call buck sweep, okay? This is an outside hitting play off of the kick out from the first guard. All right, so here we go. You're just going to get down blocks. So you're going to get a down block, a down block, a block. The, he's going to block the end. The guard is going to kick out the first thing he sees. The other guard's going to go around, and he's going to get for the first thing he sees. So Singleton is going to turn his shoulders to the line of scrimmage, and he's going to run to the sideline full speed. His read is number one here. He sees that kick out. That's easy. Watch the other guard get around right here. This is the impressive part to me. Watch how the guard gets around, and he has to make a decision here. Now, if you haven't figured this out, Singleton's going to be a little faster than the guard, so he's beat him to the point of attack. 
Watch how he slows down here and he sets the play up for the guard to get where he wanted to be. That is patience. That is a patient run. Watch what he does. He slowly sets the guard up for success. He looks to kick it. All right, he lets the offensive lineman get his head around and then he puts his foot in the ground and he gets around the edge. Now, I showed you this because I want to show it to you from the wide copy and I want to, I want to show you the difference that happens here. Okay, here we go. You're going to get buck sweep to the right. Easy kick out right here. We're going to insert ourselves. Now he's going to read 64's block. Watch the patience. Look how he sets that block up and then gets on the edge and goes. That, my friend, that is patience. That is what they've been waiting for. This is the football player that he's going to develop in Nick Singleton through the next years. Okay, so again, now we're, again, later in the season, we're getting a trips formation to the field. Again, now we're the exact same thing. Now we're getting buck sweep, but it's going to be the center and the guard. So right now, you're looking at the same exact read. Okay, I want you to see this. 77, first man out is going to look to kick the outside guy. The next guy wrapping is going to get the first guy inside the box. 77 kicks, 70 gets around. Look at the slow play from Singleton here because the center gets blown up because this is a great read by this linebacker. So but what happens is 70 takes it. Now, normally he would think, okay, I need to bounce this if I'm in a hurry or I need to get to between these two. But he figures out very carefully that patience is the key to success on this play. I'm going to go back to the end zone copy so you can get a real good feel for this. So we now know it's very simple. We're going to be down. We're down. He's going to try to hook it. He's going to get here. Now, I want to show you this. This is very, very fun to watch. Here we go. We're getting out. We're running now. We're getting out. We're running. So watch how he slows down right here. This is a big deal because this play is supposed to hit outside. Look at him slow down and set this block up and put his foot in the ground. That's patience. That's good running. Again, if he was the previous Nick Singleton from high school, he would have done one of two things. He would have, one, cut up too early. If he cuts up too early, that allows 27 to fold back in and his center can never get this block. So he sets this thing up. He presses the line and then puts his foot in the ground and gets vertical. You're going to hear it 100 times. Slow to the hole, fast through the hole. All right, now we're going to get an old style kick play, okay? This is dart bash concept. I want to show this to you, and I want to show it to you from the end zone. Okay, so very simply put, you're going to get an offensive line movement the other way, right? So you're going to get movement, movement, okay? You're going to get a double team to here. He's going to press up, and now you're going to get what we like to call the kick. So again, so you're going to see... Again, number five does something that normally he hadn't been doing, so the tackle goes ahead and takes him. You're going to get the H back on the edge over here, and watch the slow patience. Wait for it, because what? If a football player in high school sees this, he's hitting that grass right now, and if he hits that grass, you're going to get a fold in and a fold in, and there's no chance. Look how patient he is. Look how patient he is just reading the H-backs block with the tackle. The tackle gets on the edge. He gets beat, but it doesn't matter. I just stay on my path and I get outside. This shows patience. This shows the adjustment. But really what I find interesting about this play is he shows his athletic ability and his ability to get to the edge and just start running. He is a dangerous weapon. So, okay, so from now, from the, from the wide copy. So number one, the number one thing we want to look at is we want to look at the edge. Okay, There's nothing up here. So normally a high school football player is going to try to run the edge as fast as he can. Notice how he sets up the kick out right here and gets himself inside and then just puts his foot in the ground. Patience has been a virtue, and I'm super proud of what Nick Singleton's done. Okay, Last play, I want to show you this. This is his growth and development. This is the diamond formation. Oklahoma State made this very popular with Yurisich back in the day. But I want you to see what he does. All right, This is just inside zone. All right, This is nothing new, nothing fancy. It's just made to look different. So what you're going to get is you're going to get an arrow route by one guy. You're going to get a kick out block by the other. Remember what our read is on inside zone with our running back. He's going to read the A-gap defender or the nose guard. So keep our eye on the nose guard. All right, press the play. Very simple. Nose guard got washed. There is no hook here. So now his eyes are going to go down to the next down lineman. Next down lineman gets washed. He puts his foot in the ground, and he stays vertical. But really what I like is this. I like how he sets this right tackle up for success. Watch the right tackle wash. He climbs on 21. If Singleton was earlier in the year, he would try to take this here, and he would get hit by a fold-in, and he would do a poor job setting this lineman up. 
He puts his foot in the ground. He gets up the field, and the umpire almost takes him out because even the umpire is impressed with his ability to put his foot in the ground. Guys, this play is not going to happen for most running backs. Most running backs are going to take this thing, and they're going to hit it here, or they're going to try to bend it all the way back. Look how he just sits on it and then gets vertical. That's what's impressive. He doesn't try to break it back. He gets the positive yards. Nick Singleton is one of the best running backs in college football, and I'm super excited about it, and I cannot wait to see what he's about to do.